I woke up this morning and decided to go ahead and challenge myself. So today we're gonna be fishing in Texas City down here at the floodgate. We'll stay here, man, maybe a max 30 to 45 minutes just to see if we can get any bites because we all know how Texas City can be sometimes very, very hit or miss place. So the goal for this spot is to just not get stuck on the very first cast, okay? This is the bait that we're gonna be using today. It's actually a bait that our good old buddy Dan put us on. It's the Rapala X Wraps. I've never really used hard bait as much. I usually use like a paddle tail. So today I'm just gonna challenge myself, throw this thing around a little bit. It does have a really, really nice action. Oh, I just got a bite. Something small just came and swiped right at it. Either that or I passed over something. Mission accomplished. We did not get stuck on the first cast, guys. Oh my God, dude. I, I don't know if that was a redfish or what that was. Something just busted right here on the rocks. Looked like something good size too. I hope it wasn't a catfish, but it, I swear it looked like a red, like a tailing red which is insane. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm trying not to be too loud either because I don't want to scare it off, whatever it was. Oh no, I'm getting stuck. Let's see if I can find where I was at. It, it was legit right on the rock. Goodness, guys, I think I messed that up. I don't see it anymore. But right around here in this area, I turned around for a couple of seconds, and all I seen was the back of a tail come right out of the water. And the fin was a good size, probably about six inches. So it was bigger than my reel. Oh my God, oh my God, something, something picked it up. Something picked me up, and he just dragged me under this rock. Oh my God, he picked me up and dragged me under there. I don't know what that was. Oh, come on, backlash, why? Oh my God, how did how, how does this get so bad? Like, like, I casted it like two feet and look at this. Come, what, what is this? Looks like a freaking spider web. Usually I'll be able to pull it off, but it's so stuck in there. This feels like I just want to throw my whole rod in the water. That's what this feels like. All right, guys, we now made it to the other side. We fished that one side for a little bit and it just, it wasn't a no-go, man. It was just like, Nothing was really biting. I seen one fish. I got maybe a couple nibbles, but that was it. But all the water is flowing from one from this end, coming all the way back down to here. You can see where all the water is just rushing and gushing inside of here. This is where we're gonna start casting for a little bit. I'm already seeing bait pop from stuff underneath it, but it might be some ladyfish. I don't I don't know why I still got my hand up here. <laughs> Man, I would get in the water, but there's a ton of jellyfish. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine jellyfish, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh yeah. Boys, we're not jumping in this water, especially without waders. Ooh, something's busting right there. Oh God, come on again. You backlash at the worst times when I start seeing fish. Yep, all right there. All right there, they're chasing bait. Ah, oh, there he goes. <laughs> I knew I would get him. Oh yeah, I look like a ladyfish. He came off too. He spit it as soon as I threw it in there. Look at that, I seen him out there. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, those ladyfish, they're really good bait. Maybe I'll catch a couple just to use for some bait later on. So guys, if you want to catch these tarpon, tarpon, <laughs> I meant poor man's tarpon. You guys want to catch these poor man's tarpons, literally all you have to do is keep the lure kind of, like if, if you see the bait busting the way it is, all you gotta do is keep the lure closer to the surface 
and just kind of rapidly jig it like this. Here, let me get a better cast out there because this guy keeps on backlashing on me. I'm gonna just tighten that tension knob up. See, all you do is this right here. And when you set the hook, you don't want to set it up high. You actually want to set it down low. That way they stay in the water. See, because they will jump and spit it just like that one did. And I've not been able to hook them. And honestly, I think it's from just going weedless the way that I am. I could probably catch them if I had an exposed hook. Actually, as a matter of fact, this might be the perfect spot to throw the X wrap a little bit. I'm just hoping we don't get it stuck on a rock, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna say that, right? Okay, here knock on a rock so it doesn't happen oh my goodness guys a rattle trap just got stuck on a rock yeah we're not losing this bait sorry it's a 13 dollar bait <laughs> gonna have to get our our paws a little wet that was a bad idea why'd y'all tell me to use a rattle trap there with all the rocks oh my god the water's a little chilly Oh my god, I don't want to get stung by a jellyfish either. Oh, they're fucking, oh my god, they're all around me. Look at, look at all these jellyfish. Dude. Oh, I got it. I got it out. Yes. Didn't have to go that far in. Thank goodness. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again. I guess who's not going back in that water? That's right, you. Put him back up. We got him back though, guys. We got him back. There's a fish. There he goes. Oh, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> that would have been the first one that I had all day. I just did the noobest thing I think I could have ever done. That was not film this fight. I didn't film any part of this fight, and I thought I did. Oh God, I regret that so much. We went from barely being able to catch any ladyfish, or at least land them, we were hooking into a, a bunch of them, to now a little smaller red drum. He's, he's the bite of the day so far. He is undersized, probably by a couple of inches. I'm about to measure him to find out. It's insane what one spot or the other can do to change the situation. We were down there for a while, maybe about the good first hour to hour and a half of the, of the first part of the day. Just weren't getting anything on one side, switched to the other side, ended up getting a couple of bites, but not trophy fish that we wanted. Then look at this, we come down to a little other spot that usually provides fish for me, but normally on a high tide, it's actually a low tide right now. So I was surprised I even got this guy, but hey, a bite is a bite and that was that was a fun fun few minutes worth of a fight i'll tell you that let's get this guy back in the water and we'll watch him on a nice release So we've been fishing here for a while. We haven't really got anything and it's already starting to get around noon o'clock. So we're gonna have to make a switch and come out here tomorrow early in the morning because I know this spot can produce a lot better. It's just the wrong time of day. Around this time, it gets too hot for anything to bite. So we're gonna come back out here tomorrow morning. The worst thing happened to me on the way home from this trip. But before I tell you what happened to me, I do want to tell you guys, I did come back the second day. I got footage, but I, I really only caught two catfish the whole entire day. So I felt like it wasn't even worth putting it up. But anyways, let me tell you about what happened on the way home. Oh my God. Bottom line, just to get straight into it, I ran out of gas. That's what happened on the way home. I ran out of gas. And the way that it happened is I was coming down, I forget the name of the street, but it's right before you get onto 45. You're coming from Texas City, you're going toward 45, or well, right in the center of there, there's, there's a road, I forget what the road's called, if you know it, comment down below. I'm driving down there, and then next thing you know, my speed goes from 60 miles an hour like this, and it just starts slowly dropping, and I'm like, 
oh that's weird maybe i just got a little light footed so i tried to give it some more gas and i noticed it still kept coming down and i'm like okay wait hold on so then i put the pedal to the metal i hit the gas as hard as i could and boom it just keeps coming down i'm like okay you know what i am screwed so what i did if you've never ran out of gas before your steering wheel gets a little hard so what I did is I took the very first exit that I seen. Thankfully, it was by a discount tire. So I took my exit and then I tried my hardest just to turn the steering wheel. I took every little ounce of energy that I had and I was rolling. And if I know you guys don't know, but the minivan that we've had, we've had it forever. My sister and I named her Eternity, okay? Because this lasts forever. <laughs> well, I turned as hard as I could just to get on the inside. Uh, of the little area I was trying to get into and then I see a shade tree that's there so I'm like oh come on eternity just roll me into the shade tree you've already gotten me this far roll me under the shade and guess what she didn't leave me in the sun she left me in the shade so right there it died I was inside of this little mall area so I had to push eternity from the shade where I was at because I didn't want to get towed push her from where I was at into a parking spot walk about a mile to where the chevron was at and well from there i, I bought a gas tank filled it up and you'll, you'll get to see it right here all right let's see if she starts up <laughs> how the hell i run out of gas God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we just hit 1,000 subscribers, so you guys keep staying tuned and watching the videos, man. I guarantee you they're just gonna get better. Anyways, thank you guys. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for every single one of you that have subscribed. So thanks, guys. Keep hitting that button. Boom.